it's a bit in auto. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Peach Invitational. Located in Atlanta, Georgia, the East Lake Golf Club is the home course to legendary golfer Bobby Jones. It's the oldest course in the city of Atlanta. This is Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports, and we'll be calling all the action out on the course today. Frank, what is the layout like here at East Lake? Tremendous uh, old style layout, Rich, sort of very much up and down. And remember, this area was uh, stricken by poverty years ago. Now it's one of the most pristine golf courses in the world. It's a traditional golf course, Rich, um, straight up design. Everything's in front of you. And it normally it's a par 72 for the members, but uh, by reducing five and 10, um, they become like whopping par fours for even the best in the game. Uh, par threes too, excellent test here at Eastlake. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Well, it is nice to have that one in your bag, to be able to hit it that long. Yeah, that has to be at least 315 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Just a couple of feet. Yet another birdie and yet another tie at the top of the leaderboard. Here at the par three second hole, just under 215 yards. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that. Oh, do that in the hole. Tremendous shot. Already teed up here at the second. On this short par four, a fairway wood off the tee should leave players with a short iron to the green. The front of the green is guarded by two large bunkers that are especially difficult if the hole is cut on the right portion of the green. The green slopes from back to front and has several dominating ridges that make it very difficult to read. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Second shot now at the third. And Frank, what should the golfer be looking out for? Another uphill second shot. Um, very severe ridge just towards that back part of the green. It's like a little tabletop. Um, really got to know the contours of this green. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Pretty good stroke right there, just hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Getting set now over the putt. Hard fought par right there. And now let's go down to the action at the fourth. 
Frank, this is a very nice start to the round. Couple of birdies on the scorecard looks extremely solid. Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power? To... That is a heat-seeking missile right there. Wow. Huge with a capital H. Moved it a long ways. And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Good looking shot right here. And it makes the green in regulation. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. So a tester from four feet. Frank and Parr here, that's just fun. Back on the tee here at East Lake, fifth hole, 520 yard par four. some long tee shots but it's the advantage to tee that ball up get it up there quickly get the wind behind you it's amazing how far you can hit it setting up for an approach shot here over the years this golf course has hosted so many national and regional championships including the 1950 u.s women's amateur the 1963 Ryder cup and 2001 u.s men's amateur championship it is now the permanent home of the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola, the culminating event of the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup. Yeah. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Watches that one going as well to get to minus three for the championship. The sixth screen here at East Lake Golf Club, tracing back to the original Tom Bendelow design that opened back in 1908, built as the green for the par 5 16th. A Donald Ross rerouting five years later made it the target for a par three on the front nine. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Superb shot. Well, that's uh, it's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. You have to like that. Four under. This is a really good par four. Dog leg to the left, 434 yards here at the seventh at East Lake. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Got the uh, measurement out there, Rich. Looks like 290 yards. Frank, as we get set for this approach, what does our featured player need to do to regain some of that early round magic? 
first, a bit of advice, really. Take a deep breath. Uh, make sure all those bad thoughts get out of your mind. After that hot start, we all know they can play better than this, but uh, they need to relax first of all and then let their game take over again. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. I mean, that's how the game is played, right there. Uh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. Just a little tap in here. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. This par four is a dog leg left with bunkers and trees on that left side of the fairway. So that should deter players from cutting the corner. Although often thought of as a birdie hole, this eighth has a relatively small firm green surrounded by a deep bunker in front, thick rough on all sides. Birdies might not be as plentiful as people think. Wow, what impact. Absolutely crushed it. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. This has been a great performance so far, but Frank, a long ways to go. Do you ever worry about complacency? Yeah, sometimes it just looks like it's too easy. At the moment, the putts are going in, the iron shots are going close enough, but uh, some things, you know, they don't happen by, by accident. He's got to still keep concentrating right now. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. All right, so green side bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Well, really, you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. OK, good shot on the dance floor. It's a very makeable putt here. He is currently five under for his round. Oh, what a putt from long distance, bottom of the barrel. Now to hole number nine, 600 yard par five, and it's the first par five of the round. Frank, such an advantage when you can hit it that far. It's not fair. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Can't hide the flagstick from that man. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. So with that make, now it's seven under par. Just a superb performance on the front side. He's hoping to keep it going here on the back nine, Frank. The game is so much easier when you're swinging well, putts are going in. Really, you've just got to keep out of your own way.
Has it come down yet? Not only is it straight, it's mega long. Taking dead aim now at the tent. Good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Shouldn't be a problem here. Frank, this game will drive you crazy. Yeah, you can do all so many things right, and then just something so simple, completely wrong. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Moving on now to the 11th and another par three. Frank, this one just under 200 yards. Does play a little bit uphill and uh, really it's like a V-shaped green. Uh, those two front bunkers really pitch the front of that green in. Hold actually gets a little easier the further the, the flag goes up the green. It's a little wider and the chances of having an uphill putt increase. Pretty try up next. Pretty chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Is this one for par. Good effort and good par putt. Most players will hit fairway woods or long irons off the tee on this downhill par four. There's an overhanging tree and some deep rough on that left side of the fairway. That makes this hole really tough if you're coming in from the left side. The right center of the fairway, that's the ideal location, leaving a short iron to the green. But those are good numbers right there. 3-2-0, 320 yards, just crushed it in the fairway. About 80 yards left, Frank. Good-looking shot right here. That is an excellent play. The approach shot within 12 feet. Settles in over the putt. There's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. And golf is not about perfect, but it's going to hurt the course. Did the job right there. Now at the par four, 13th. This is a good one. Strong challenge here at East Lake. drives the end ever seen. Just let it rip. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, on an uphill shot like this one, did you do anything differently in terms of your setup over the ball? Yeah, I made sure the ball wasn't too far forward because on an uphill shot, there's always a struggle to get all your weight going forward. Just a superb shot. 
you're not going to see much better than that all day today. He's setting himself up for a good weekend. A former college number one makes another birdie. Backing up that long 13th hole, we now arrive at the 14th, and this, too, is a challenging par four, Frank. Tough fairway to hit because of the pitch from the left, from the left side of the fairway to the right side of the fairway. No fairway bunkers to worry about, but uh, if you watch the Tour Championship over the years, you'll find the majority of the field live in that right rough. It's the most uh, difficult part of playing this downhill par four. The approach now to the 14th hole. Frank, what do you look to do here? It's the opposite of 13. Uh, now you're going straight downhill. Um, but the green slopes in the other direction, so don't get too cavalier here. Uh, you've got to pitch that ball just slightly short of the flag. It should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. Really hitting on all cylinders now. Nine under for the tournament. There are three tall pines on the right side of the fairway that force players to hit a fade to get to the best position in the fairway. With a good drive, players can definitely reach this short par five and two. A well-bunkered green poses problems if missed long or short. One of the easiest holes at East Lake, a par here, will drop a shot to the field. That's an absolute tracer right there. In the fairway, and well over 320 yards. Well, Frank, as a player, you're licking your chops on this second shot at the par 5 15th, aren't you? Yeah, if you've got a utility club uh, or a lofted fairway wood in the bag, that would come in handy. Otherwise, a long iron, you're going to have to allow for that ball to skip forward. So you'll have to fly that somewhere around that front edge of the green. I like the looks of this one. To the 15th green, but looking at a tough putt, considerably long, over 25 feet away. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. That may have been a bit too much to ask for there, that distance putt, Frank. Yeah, it's fine to be greedy before you hit the putt, but after you've hit it, two from that distance is fine. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Frank, he took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Moving on to number 16 now, 481 yard par four. goes after it like he is here. And 
now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. This from about 10 feet. Really starting to shine, moves to 10 under for the tournament. Just two holes left here at East Lake. Frank, we have another par four set at 455 yards. <laughs> Just pulverized that golf ball. Rich, there's great drivers of the ball. We've seen Norman Nicholas over the years, but uh, that there is just excellent. Lovely full turn, plenty of power, and just piped it. Made it look easy right there, and he, he's such a good-looking player. When he's dialed in, swinging the way he is right now, just a pleasure to watch. Okay, 20 feet, not too bad. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Par here's fine, isn't it, Frank? The 18th hole here at East Lake is a par three, 235 yards to the green. This could be a good one. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Not a gimme, but well within his range. That had to really hurt Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his middle. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Rich, in that great opportunity, name on top of the leaderboard. It is only round one. Good place to be. On to the finishing hole here at East Lake Golf Club. Not many courses end with a par three. It's always a fun finishing hole. Naruto, over and out.